This one is not important, this one. The bridle was twisted, so I unhooked it. Okay. Left brake, left brake. This is a little Oleg, look at your wings. Stop bearing the brakes or you're gonna crash. Relax. Man, that was way too strong inputs, Oleg.
quick you can open the glider. Go when you're ready on that right side. Grabbing the A's, palms out, thumbs down, and pull it down on the right side. Go for it when you're ready, Oleg. And let it out. Big pump to open it up. Big pump. Go ahead and give me a left 180. Hey, Gil, yeah. he's on your wing, so step in the shade so you can watch him do his stuff. Good. He's in Gil's wing? Keep turning to the left, Oleg. I want you to turn a little harder than that from now on, okay? There you go, on that heading. Let's get ready on the left side. Do that same thing on the left side, 50% deflation. Pull it down and let it out. Go when you're ready. And let it out, one pump to open it up. Okay, I want you to be more aggressive on your pump outs too. You can pump that out a lot quicker, a lot harder than that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the right side and do that same thing, only this time pull it down and hold it in and get used to flying half your glider straight. Go when you're ready. Little left brake stops it from turning. That's a little too much left brake. I want you to try to maintain a heading. Find that sweet spot with that Obsession 2 likes to maintain a heading. Might just be just weight shift and no left brake. How about no left brake? There we go. That seems to be better. No left brake. There we go, but you're still turning. So we're gonna let you float around until you can maintain a heading and not turn and fly that glider straight. There you go, you found it. That's the sweet spot, that's what you need. Nice work. Okay, I want you to imagine there's terrain on that right side. Show me how you would steer away from that imaginary terrain. Give me a left 90 degree turn away from the deflation by pulling enough left brake and enough waist shift to steer back towards us. On that heading right there flying directly towards us. Open that glider quick and fast. Give me a right 90 degree turn. So it's like a game, I'm gonna give you headings to get on and I want you to try to get there with half your glider. Okay, so right now I want you to point directly towards us. Okay, on that heading right there. Let's get to the left side and do that same thing. A left side, 50% deflation, go when you're ready. Good job. Try to fly directly towards us. You're trying to maintain your heading. I want you to imagine there's terrain on the right side. Show me how you can steer towards a deflation by leaning towards a deflation, even though it's awkward, and doing a controlled turn, maybe letting up on the right brake a little bit and getting it to turn. That's nice. On that heading right there, maintaining pressure on the right side. One big monster pump, looking at that left wing tip, open it up quick and fast. One big pump, Oleg. That's too slow. Okay, pull it down on the left side. Let's try that again. One big monster pump to open the wing. Go when you're ready. Pull it down on the left side without turning. Okay, or the right side, that's fine. <laughs> Maintaining pressure on the left side. Look up at that right wing tip and one big pump to open it up. Go for it. Two, three, four. Okay, pull it down again. We're, we're not gonna move on until we get this. Go ahead and pull a 50% deflation. One big right pump to open it up. Look at that right side. Four. Okay, I, I can see your hand hardly dropping. Give me a right 90 degree turn. Okay, on that heading right there, a right side, 50% deflation. Pull it down, maintaining left control, go for it. One big pump to open that up. Look at the wing tip. That's getting better. You're getting a little better, but we can we can work on that. Come on back and set up your approach for landing, Oleg. No turning, and how quick you can open the glider. Go when you're ready on that right side. Grabbing the A's, palms out, thumbs down, and pull it down on the right side. Go for it when you're ready, Oleg. And let it out. Big pump to open it up. Big pump. Go ahead and give me a left 180. Hey, Gil, yeah. he's on your wing, so step in the shade so you can watch him do his stuff. Good. He's in Gil's wing? Keep turning to the left, Oleg. 
I want you to turn a little harder than that from now on, okay? There you go, on that heading. Let's get ready on the left side. Do that same thing on the left side, 50% deflation. Pull it down and let it out. Go when you're ready. And let it out one pump to open it up. Okay, I want you to be more aggressive on your pump outs too. You can pump that out a lot quicker, a lot harder than that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the right side and do that same thing, only this time pull it down and hold it in and get used to flying half your glider straight. Go when you're ready. Little left brake stops it from turning. That's a little too much left brake. I want you to try to maintain a heading. Find that sweet spot with that Obsession 2 likes to maintain a heading. Might just be just weight shift and no left brake. How about no left brake? There we go, that seems to be better. No left brake. There we go, but you're still turning. So we're going to let you float around until you can maintain a heading and not turn and fly that glider straight. There you go, you found it. That's a sweet spot, that's what you need. Nice work. Okay, I want you to imagine there's terrain on that right side. Show me how you would steer away from that imaginary terrain. Give me a left 90 degree turn away from the deflation by pulling enough left brake and enough waist shift to steer back towards us. On that heading right there flying directly towards us. Open that glider quick and fast. Give me a right 90 degree turn. So it's like a game, I'm gonna give you headings to get on and I want you to try to get there with half your glider. Okay, so right now I want you to point directly towards us. Okay, on that heading right there. Let's get to the left side and do that same thing. A left side, 50% deflation, go when you're ready. Turn once uh, your bridles are stowed, okay? Okay, right there on that heading. Let's get our horseshoe in. Reach on the inside of the risers. Grab those two inner A lines. Bring them together and climb up it like a climbing rope at the gym. Go when you're ready. More, more, more. Release it. Let it fly. Let it fly. A okay, little bit of, little bitty cravat over there. Hands up. Let's reach up and baba ganoush that cravat out. Letting it fly. Reach up, grab that stabilo line, bring it over to your left hand. That right stabilo line, bring it over to your left hand. Let it fly. A little bit of left brake, just a titch. Not very much. In the meantime, grab that stabilo line, bring it over to your left hand. Right stabilo line, bring it to your left hand. Let it turn towards the cravat. You're close to stalling it. Let it turn towards the cravat. Please let up on the left brake. There you go. 
Almost got that thing out. Let it turn towards the cravat. And come on back towards us. Nice job. Looks like you got that thing out or you no know, little wingtip still in there, huh? So grabbing that right stabilo line, bringing it over to the left hand, hand over hand, pulling it in more and more and more and more. It looks out. It looks okay. out right here. You think it's out? Okay. Wait for you to get a little closer here. Engage that speed bar, get that speed bar fully engaged, as close to pulley to pulley as you can. Give me a lifelike left side asymmetric deflation, accelerated. Show me how you'd handle it at your home flying site. Go when you're ready. Open that quicker. Let's try an asymmetric deflation, not a wing tip. Try again. Go when you're ready. Don't worry, you just got a big cravat. You know how to handle it. Go when you're ready. Right there it is. And open that quick and fast, maintaining right brake pressure. Nice. Good job. On that heading there, come off a speed bar. Nice and smooth on all inputs, okay? Show me how you can twist up in those risers by letting go of the brakes, grabbing the risers, squeeze them together. And let's see if you can get twisted up. Squeeze them together, push and pull. Got to squeeze the risers together. There you go. Go the other way now, all the way. You almost had it. Oh, damn. He's in the tree. Okay, reach up and grab that rear riser. And steer the glider away from the hill. Go when you're ready. Using that rear riser, pull it all the way around. All the way around. Look at that, flying backwards and have situational awareness. Great job, Oleg. Loving it. Look at that. Very nice. Now steer back the other way. They're coming towards you. Well, so steer back the other way. Got the other rear riser. Nice. See how you can steer your glider with that? Go ahead and release. And show me how quick you can untwist by grabbing the risers, pull them apart. Grab them, pull them apart. And then give me a left 90 degree turn. About to fly in the sun, I can't help you. Okay, or a right 90 degree turn. Point back to the south, which is where the boat is, aimed towards the boat. Show us a good V-line stall. Reach up, identify the V-risers, make sure you only have the V together. Or, or pull them down, do a pull up on them. You know the way go for it. V-line stall. Look at us at how quick you're dropping. Release and let it fly. Release it into a frontal if you would. Big full frontal. Big full frontal. Rip it down. Go for it. Hands up. There you go. It's not flying. Not flying. Now it's flying. Looks like you hit the brakes a little too soon on that one. You have to tell me if you did or not. Okay, give me a surprise left side deflation. Let it go 90 to 180 degrees. Go when you're ready. Left side, 50% deflation, no speed bar. Go for it. Okay, open that wing. Open the wing. Open the wing. Way too slow to respond there. Okay. You're going to have to be a little careful on your approach right here. It's going to be a nice, mellow rut. Right hand turn and don't wait too long to do it. You don't need to land close to us. Just remember it's going to be sinky as you turn towards the hill. So get it over quicker. Good, hey guys, how's everything on the boat? Okay, this is one of those we want to do with and stuff and stuff.
so okay. How do you feel after that, Bill? It is making me dizzy, though. Yeah, everyone, uh, there's no way to not be dizzy. You're yeah. going to be dizzy. So that's why I let up a little bit on the last one. I was starting to, <laughs> I was starting okay. to get that. Uh, I don't know what's up. I was like making myself car sick driving the other day, which has never happened in my life. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you turn and follow that boat. Okay. Perfect placement. Once those bridles are stowed and you're all relaxed and you've taken in that view and you've gotten your stall wrapped and figured out, give me a right 90 degree turn, that'll be my signal you're ready. Look how high he is. I don't think there's any way to block him. Okay, on that heading right there, let's go ahead and get started. Remember what I say now, it means push, look, lean, and pull. All in one smooth motion. When you're ready, start to 360s in the direction you want to go. Make sure you're posted up on that right side. Pull more. And more. And more. Okay, go ahead and pull more now. And now, hold that, more, 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 hold that. Go ahead and pull more if you can, more left, more, slow it down, nice job. That's about as slow as you want to take it, go ahead and show me how you can get out of it, and release, and tap that right brake. Nice job, exit, and point directly towards us. That was really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. I want to get the entry and the exit just before we dial. When you're ready, go ahead and start the 360s. Let's go again. Make sure you're staring at your wing so you don't get sick, Karen. When you like your position, go for it. Great. Go ahead and pull more. And more, more, now, more, 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 go ahead and pull more, there you go, see how it slows down when you do that, pull more, push harder on that right riser, more, try to push that right riser below you, more, more, hold that, it's about as slow as you want to go, show me how you can exit that by letting up on that and tapping that right brake. Nice job. Come on back towards us. Don't waste altitude. Come on back. Nice job, Aaron. Push on that speed bar. Get that speed bar 50%. Look at your pulley so you know what 50% is. Remember where that position is. This first 50% is what you're going to use down there in Tucson a lot, I'm sure. We'll let you get closer, and then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to talk you through your butterfly. We're going to we're going to get you a butterfly. If I didn't, Cromer would be bummed at me. So you're going to get your um, you're going to reach in. You're going to pull a horseshoe horseshoe stall. When your wingtips are touching, you're going to let go of the horseshoe, take a wrap or whatever wrap for your stall, quick and abruptly, and stall it. So you're going to touch your wingtips in front of you, and then touch your wingtips behind you. This is really, really cool. Get and then you're going to go right to the sweet spot and release from that. Let's get closer. Go ahead when you're ready. Horseshoe. Horseshoe. Quicker, faster though. 
quicker, harder, more, and then release install. Hold that, quarter release, sweet spot, and release, let it fly. Let it fly. Let it turn, let it fly. Let it, hands up, even push on the speed bar. So you had a cravat and it just takes that little bit of pull and the glider wants to stall. You notice that? You barely pulled any brake and the glider went to stall and it stalled that cravat out. You need to remember that and maybe don't even touch the brake on that cravat. And you had a little one on each side so maybe right there you want to push on the speed bar if anything, okay? If you can, could you show us a better horseshoe than the one you just did real quick? Quick and fast and hard. The quicker the better. There you go, that's better. And release it, tap the brakes. Nice job. No more maneuvers, come on in and have a soft landing here. Nice run, Aaron. Can you, uh, reach in the back and